Beekeeping has been in my family for over 100 years, about 103. My grandfather started back in 1910. Then my mother started keeping bees. So since my family was in the beekeeping, I have memories of working in the bees, getting stung, not being able to go to school because my eyes were swelled shut. I remember extracting the honey, eating the honey raw out of the hive. Even to this day, when I walk into the honey house and smell the fresh honey, it still brings back memories working with my grandfather. And so it, it's, a, it's nice to be part of the family tradition and have those memories. I would say that beekeeping is an art, it's more than a science. When a person starts in beekeeping, they're very frightened, as most people would be, and they usually put on the entire suit and the veil and the gloves and the smoker, and they're very cautious. But I strongly recommend that a beekeeper, as they work in the bees, start moving slowly, listen to the bees, watch the bees, and maybe take off one glove, and then take off the other glove, and just slowly over time, get to the point where they can work with just the smoker because when you do that you are working with the bees. The more time you spend with them, the more you listen to them, you literally can by the sound, by the pitch of the, their buzz, you can tell what type of mood that they're in or you can also tell what problems are in the hive just by the sound of it. You can also tell problems they're having by the smell of the hive. It is very difficult now to be a beekeeper financially because of the problems that we're having with the hives dying off. And so the more support we get, not only financially, but just people understanding that the bees need to be protected, that we need to minimize our use of pesticides and GMOs, things like that, then it's gonna help the beekeeper and help the honeybees out. Because since the honeybees do 80% of the insect pollination, they're very important for us to have around. And that's a big part of what we do, moving our hives to apples and to watermelons. And, and that's why we don't have very many hives actually on our farm, because they're out around the state. When you think of all the products that a beehive can produce, I find it fascinating of what I can make out of those products. So I started playing with beeswax lip balm and honey mustard and honey teriyaki. And then to see the eyes of the public when they also realize what you can make out of honey. And so I enjoy that contact with the, with the public, with the customer, introducing them to the wonderful world of honey. And they realize that honey is a wholesome product, that we basically extract it and put it in the jar and add a label. And that's pretty much all that we do. And if you'd like to try some honey for yourself, visit huntershoneyfarm.com.